Hey everybody, today I'm excited. We're gonna do our first build using our Lego Spike Prime robotics kits. This is pretty awesome. We're gonna make a little robot that can drive around on two wheels and we can tell it to go forward, turn 90 degrees, whatever. We'll teach you about that later. Today we need to get the thing built so we can learn how to program it in our other lessons. So this is our first lesson. Usually there's gonna be a video right here that you're watching right now, but I'm recording it right now, so it's not there yet. Okay. Go to step two after you're done watching this video and you can click this, spike.legoeducation.com link. And it's gonna open this up and it takes just a second for it to Okay, it didn't take too long, we're all loaded up. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to, this is for elementary school kids, the essentials. We wanna use Spike Prime. That's the ones that we have here at school, Spike Prime. Okay, cool, now we're in here, we're in Spike Prime. And you're gonna to go to building instructions because today we just wanna build the thing. You're gonna scroll down until you find the one called driving base one. Be careful because there's a two and a three. Don't do those ones. Just do driving base number one, okay? Don't do the advanced driving base either. Just driving base number one. It's the third one down here and here it is. Now we're gonna have all these steps. When you're building, there's a couple of hints I want you to get used to. I want you to always hold the Lego piece when you're looking at it the same way that it's turned and rotated in the pictures. So when you get done, I want you to hold the brick just like it is here with the button down here, the empty side on the top. You should see E, D, and F on your side. A, B, and C, or I can't really read those. Sorry, A, C, and E. Those are gonna be on the other side. Sorry, I got the wrong letters there. And then we're gonna to move to the next step. And they're just telling you, hey, grab this. Hey, put these in there. What you do is you just look at them, you go, oh, hey, one, two. So fill up those two and then put an extra one. Okay, cool. Always use visual reference points. You can see from this step, the next thing we do is we start adding motors. Always hold up the motors the way that they're gonna be so you make sure that they're put on correctly. So when you hold it up in your hand and you hold it next to the screen and you look at it, it should be looking the same in your hand as it does on the screen. Otherwise, it's too easy to get everything screwed up. And literally, I will never touch your Legos. I will only tell you like how to fix it or help you, um, hey, here's how it goes. So no matter what, you're going to have to get this right. So make sure, maybe take your time and do it right the first time. And you're gonna keep going. And you can see there's many steps. This will take a little while, not too long. Should be done in a period very easily. And we move on. And you're done when you can show me this thing, just like this. And the next step tells you, make sure you have the wires going like this. And it shows you where the wires go. So when you're done with this part and you move on, you double check the wiring, like is it the large motor is going to E, the two smaller motors are C and D. Then you click done and you just raise your hand and get me and I'll grade that for you. And you'll get a great grade and you'll be ready to go for the next lesson. Thanks everybody.